All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Triple Six, coming at you with another comic book haul video. And tonight, let's get things started with Iron Man, number 164. Uh, there's no spec on this. Uh, I was digging in the dollar bin, and uh, I just remember this cover from back in the day. It was always one of my favorite Iron Man covers. So, so yeah, yeah, man, I had to get it. Up next, we've got Thor, the Mighty, Mighty Thor, Thor, number 392. Uh, this is the first appearance of Quicksand and uh, Kevin Matherson as Thunderstrike. This came, came out in 1988, man. Uh, we all know, uh, well, if you didn't know, there was a little spec hype uh, on We Might See Thunderstrike. Uh, that's a long shot. It was based on a, uh, a, a picture of, uh, uh, what's his name, the guy that plays Thor? Uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but anyway, uh, there was a shot of him with this hammer, and uh, he was wearing a vest. So, yeah. Chris, uh, Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. No, not Chris Evans. That's uh, Captain America. It, it'll come to me. Anyway, uh, there was a shot, shot of him wearing a vest, yeah. and that caused speculation to go crazy. Anyway. anyway. Also got uh, the Mighty Thor, number 440. Um, this is the first appearance of the Thor Corpse. And uh, no spec on this. This is just... Uh, one of my favorite covers. This is the Mighty Thor number 451. This is that homage uh, to uh, Thor number 337. That classic uh, first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. We got Fantastic Four Annual number 27. Uh, this has to do with some spec on, uh, well, it's no longer spec. spec. We know what the, the Time, Time Variance the Authority is going to show up in that uh, Marvel uh, Disney streaming uh, Loki show. show. Um, so, like I said, this is just an early appearance of the Time Variance Authority. Check this out. Whenever I, I see, see these, I pick them up. I don't know if, we're, if we'll ever see, see this team, team but... Uh, you know, uh, whenever I see, see it, it at a great price, I got this for $2. Uh, this is Excalibur, number one. And I found two, two copies co of that. This was just a cover Robot. buy for me, man, right here. Uh, this is the Fearless Defenders. Uh, this came out in 2013. Uh, you guys know that I'm into these uh, action figure variants, and uh, I just thought this was kind of cool because it's not a John Tyler Christopher. This is actually a Mark Brooks uh, cover. There's no spec on this, uh, well, except for uh, everybody's thinking that Elsa Bloodstone is going to show up at some point in the MCU, so... Uh, after that last comic call when I showed that, uh, what was it, Zombies, uh, Marvel Zombies with Elsa Bloodstone on the cover, um, whenever I find a book with her on the cover, I think I'm going to get them. So anyway, yeah, this is Monsters Unleashed, number two, great uh, Elsa Bloodstone and Kid Kaiju on the cover. And uh, for 50 cents, yeah, I'll pick them up all day. I found three copies. I just thought this was a badass cover. Uh, this is Ghost Rider, number 33. Uh, another cover by for me. I had never seen it before, and I liked it. We've got the Inhumans versus the X-Men, issue number one. I thought this was a dope cover. I had to get it. Uh, this is Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye, uh, number number 34. Another badass cover that I like. This is Transformers Windblade, number 4. 
I also grabbed this for half price. This is Generations number one. Miss Marvel, meet Miss Marvel. And, you know, I had to get this. We know Riri's coming. We know uh, Kamala Khan's coming, so I had to get them. Uh, this is Generations number one. Uh, Iron Man, Ironheart. I found another one of these uh, for a dollar. This is Justice number nine. Uh, just adding another one to the run that I'm trying to put together. Uh, this is beautiful Alex Ross, man. And for a dollar, I'm picking these up all day. This is X-Men number one. That great uh, Jim Lee back in the 90s, man. And since I was feeling the 90s, I never thought I'd buy, one, uh, buy another one of these, but I did. Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Man, those were good days collecting uh, Valiant. Uh, back in the day, I just, uh, it was a good time, man. Uh, I think we're kind of in that uh, heyday right now with uh, all these independent uh, titles that are booming. This was just a cover buy for me. This is the Uncanny Avengers, number 11. Uh, just an awesome uh, Jim Steranko cover. I've talked about this book before. Uh, when I showed it, I showed the variant. But this is the Infinity Gauntlet, number one. Another dollar book. The only reason why I picked this up, this is the Incredible Hulk, number 54. I uh, had to get it. It's a newsstand. And the same thing with this. This is that homage cover, homage cover. This is the Incredible Hulk number uh, 34 for a dollar and a newsstand. Yeah, man, I'm on this all day. And in the homages, uh, I, can't, I can't think of the cover, but it's an homage cover. Trust me. They've used this uh, cover in all in a in a bunch of different titles, uh, including Incredible Hulk titles. I just love this cover. Uh, every time I see it, until I don't see it anymore, I'm gonna keep getting it. This is that Philadelphia number twelve, uh, Bill Sinkowitz cover. Uh, some more cover buys. I'm really starting to dig this artist, man. So, uh, anytime I see some of her work, I'm gonna get it. This is All-Star Batman, number seven, from the DC Universe Rebirth. Uh, this is, uh, the artist is uh, Tula Lote. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really starting to, to like her work, man. Her covers are, she does some very erotic uh, type of stuff. Uh, her color choice, her pencils, just nice, man. Uh, I'm really starting to like this artist, and like I said, uh, Whenever I see her work, uh, if I know it's her, I'm going to pick them up. This is, uh, I don't know if this is, is this the variant? Uh, any, if it's cover A, cover B, I don't know, but I also got the other one. Uh, this is also All-Star Batman, number seven, uh, Tula Lote. Uh, Frank, Frank of Villa, Villa, Frank of Villa. I'm going to just say Frank of Villa. He also has a badass cover for this book. Uh, if I see him, I'm going to pick that up too. Uh, I got two of these. I found that one was 50 cents and uh, this one was half price. So yeah, I jumped all over it. This is just a cover buy for me. Uh, this is Captain America number 19. Uh, I don't really have any information on it. Uh, I just like the cover, man. Another cover buy. I've talked about these. Uh, anytime I see them, I'm grabbing them. Gotham City Garage number one. Something that came out this week, we've got the Magnificent Marvel, Miss, the Magnificent Miss Marvel, number 18. This uh, is the, I believe, the final issue in her run. So, yeah, uh, when I find them, I'm going to buy as many as I can until they run out because we know that uh, usually in the final issue, um, 
uh, the number of copies that LCSs buy, it starts to drop off, so this could have a low print run. Oh, check this out. This is just a beautiful cover. This is uh, Deja Thoris number 10. Yeah, uh, enough said. Uh, this is a Perillo cover. Uh, I've, I bought a couple of these, but I just, I just wanted to show one of them. Nice. Another beautiful cover. We've got Red Sonia, The Price of Blood. Look at that cover. That is awesome. I'm going to get a couple more of those, too. Another cover by for me that I liked. Uh, this is Maria Lovelet. Love it. Luna, number one. Just uh, a beautiful Jenny Frizen cover. Uh, you know, what's to be said about it? I love the colors. Uh, just love the art. I had to get two of these. I might even try and get the Virgin variant for this also. And this, this is, is the one per store, store. variant. Uh, why not? I had to pick it up. I bought a couple of these covers also, but I just wanted to show this one. This is uh, the Deep Beyond, number one, the black and white peach Momoko. I don't know. Does that show pretty? There we go. I like that. Let's do a little Star Wars. I've talked about these books before in a previous video. I found a couple more, so I grabbed them. This is Star Wars, The Force Awakens, number four. I found two copies of that. I also picked up Star Wars Adventures, number three. Uh, what needs to be said? Uh, just a cool-ass uh, Darth Maul cover. And I uh, found two of these. I found this. Uh, I was surprised. It was just still sitting on the wall, man. Uh, it was just still sitting on the rack. Uh, this is Star Wars Adventures uh, number seven. This is the first appearance and cover appearance of uh, Hondo Onaka. Shown this book for book before. This is uh, Star Wars number one. Star Wars uh, Rogue Rogue. This is Rogue One, a Star Wars story number one. I didn't grab this when it first came out. I should have. So I ended up paying a little bit more for this, but uh, I had to get one so that uh, my set is complete of the. Number one, uh, first issue for Star Wars: The High, Repu High Republic, with the especially with the twins on the cover. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, there was gonna be a little bit of hype behind this cover, but uh, yeah, I found one. And uh, I also picked up uh, number two of this, the High Republic. This is the Ashley Witter uh, variant, one in twenty-five variant. I talked, I talked about, about her, her before. Uh, I said that I, I really started liking her artwork. Uh, I was talking about her work on Dr. Afra, uh, the first series. She does some beautiful covers on Dr. Afra, so this was just a natural pickup for me. Let's get into some second prints. I grabbed a copy of this. This is uh, that Black Cat, the new series, uh, number two, second print. Spider-Man, number one, second print. I found three of these. I had never seen this before. And then one day, they just uh, popped up in the long boxes. So uh, I had to get all three. This just recently dropped not too long ago. This is... Uh, the second printing of Haha -Ha, number one. Then 
Then we've got Miles Morales Spider-Man, Spider-Man. number 18, the second, second print. Uh, this is the first time Miles meets his clone, and uh, I believe this is the first time we have the clone on the cover. cover. So uh, this could be something. So I picked up a couple, couple copies of this. I thought oh. I already had it, but I didn't, so I was glad to find these. I picked up three copies of number 18, and this is not a second, second printing, but... Just to keep things in order, this is uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Spider-Man number 19. We've got a sixth printing right here. This, this is, is Thor th- number two. Uh, I believe this is the first appearance, first cameo appearance of the Black Winter. Uh, like I said, this is uh, just a, this is the sixth and final printing uh, on this issue. Um, why not? And it's got that Strange Academy preview in it, so... Uh, I picked up a couple of these. These could actually be, uh, these probably, probably have a low print run. Uh, as at the sixth printing, things start to uh, dry up. You know, I had to get this. Uh, this is that future state number two. Just uh, love the colors. Uh, we know who this is. This is uh, that Dustin, Dustin Nguyen. Uh, cover featuring Red X, man. And uh, the reason why I'm showing that is because I got the second printing of uh, uh, Future State uh, Teen Titans number one. Got a couple of those. I don't know how many printings we're going to get into this, but this is that Amazing Spider-Man number 55. The second, second printing. You know I had to get a couple of these. Had to get them. I still so, like the uh, black and white better, but uh, yeah, why not? Oh, talk about second printings, man. This is just that's a beautiful cover right there. Uh, yeah, uh, Gwenum versus Gwenum versus Carnage. Uh, this is that In Hyuk Lee uh, second printing number one. Gwenum versus Carnage, uh, King in Black. Man, that cover is just that's that's it right there. Uh, I didn't get that. Uh, what is that? One in twenty five. Uh, but I think prices are pretty low now compared to when it first came out. So who knows? We may see one in a future video. But uh, I picked up two of these. That's just a that's a beautiful cover right there. I'm sure everybody that wanted one got one. Uh, up next, we've got the House of M, number seven. Uh, I think this might be catching, might have caught a little heat because of what's going on on WandaVision. Um, I hope everybody's checking that series out, man. That's just, uh, that show is really starting to get pretty good, man. Uh, I haven't watched, uh, what is it, episode 7 yet, but after I get done with this and I upload this video, I'm getting ready to jack in. <laughs> I've shown this before. Uh, this is that Astonishing X-Men, number 10. This is the first full sword and uh, also the first appearances of Agent Deems and uh, I can't remember the other agent's name off the top of my head, but I spoke about it before. I've talked about this book in another video. Uh, this is the Mighty Avengers number oh, uh, number 13, Secret Invasion. We've got Something is Killing the Children number 13. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm probably going to have to buy the graphic novel for this, but... Uh, uh, from what everybody's saying, uh, this is a really good read. Uh, just a quick update on my diving in on that uh, saga, Sega, Saga, how you want to say it, uh, compendium. I think I'm about halfway through that. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I reserve my, uh, I'll reserve my opinion until I finish, but uh, I'm definitely jacked in, so I've been reading it when I get a chance. 
Found another one of these, man. This is that uh, Invincible Iron Man, number 10. Uh, I believe this is the second appearance of Riri Williams. 50 cents. Yeah, I'll buy that all day. Here's a book that uh, kind of started catching some heat out of nowhere. This is that uh, Young, Justi Young Justice, number one. Oh, speaking of another book catching heat, I found a couple of copy this, copies of this. This is the Avengers, the Initiative, featuring Reptile. Uh, apparently, Disney has some plans for this character, which caused this book to uh, spike on the secondary market. So, naturally, I had to see if I could find them, and I did. I found two copies. Uh, I'm thinking, man, that, uh, uh, well, and Fahi has said it, uh, he has, he has plans for, uh, some of those, uh, Asian characters that were released, uh, last year that came out. So I thought that, uh, I decided anytime I see, uh, these books, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick them up. So we've got Crescent, uh, Crescent and 10, number one. I also found a... White Fox, number one. But what I'm most happy about, and I did not know that these they had these. You guys know I'm into those JCT action figure variants. Check this out. This could become something someday. This is Swordmaster number one. That JTC. Nice. And I found two copies of this. These are those retail qualifiers I told you guys about uh, a while ago. found some Black Widow covers I had never seen before. This is uh, Last Days of the Black Widow. Uh, this is a, maybe a... Is this a Phil Noto cover? I like it. I also found uh, Black Widow. Kiss or Kill. Part 1 of 3. I found two of these bad boys. That is nice. There's a... Uh, uh, J. Scott Campbell... Uh, um, um, variant of this that thing is dope but um, that goes for some money I'd like to find that out in the wild I believe this is a, another Phil Noto cover man this is Black Widow number 13 this, this thing is beautiful look at this this thing is nice and so is this. This is uh, Black Widow, The Things They Say About Her, number two of six. Just a badass cover. I like this a lot. Found this in a long box for $5. I wasn't going to leave it. This is uh, NYX, number seven of seven. I was surprised to see this. This is the Uncanny Avengers, uh, number number one, uh, the Ultron Forever issue. That is nice. I found two copies of that. Let me take these down. Like I said, that's just a nice cover right there. Uh, that's actually, uh, uh, that's, that's straight from the movies, man. So who knows what these books might do one day in the future. i never seen this before, but uh, I wasn't going to leave it. This is Rocket Number 1, the animation variant edition. That is badass. I like that. And then I also picked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 114. I believe this is the 1 in 10 variant. That is nice. All 
All right, we're getting close, close to wrapping it up. I had, you know, I had to get this. I'm really enjoying this uh, story. Uh, this is the last Ronin number two. And uh, this came out uh, not too long ago. I had to get the, what is this, the second, the second, second printing of the last Ronin. Maybe even the third printing. Uh, just a heads up, uh, I'm not going to be showing, I'm not going to be showing two spec books uh, this time uh, at, the end of this, at the end of this video. Actually, I've got so many books that I wanted to show, I decided to, uh, I'm going to split this video up. This is going to be part one, and in a couple of days, I'm going to put together part two. But uh, check this out, this is Fantastic Four, number 570. Uh, when I heard about this, I had to go out and find it. Uh, this is the this came out in 1998. This is the first appearance of the Council of Reed. Um, just just uh, yeah, I had to go get them. Uh, I'm a fan of the Flash TV show, and uh, what's that what's that guy's name? Uh, Dr. Harry Wells. Uh, they kind of touch on that. Uh, there's alternate versions of him throughout uh, different dimensions and uh, they get together and confer and talk about things and uh, I just really like that uh, I like that in the show and uh, I think Marvel could do something with the Council of Reeds so uh, I think this is just the cover A eh? I found one, two, three copies of that I believe this is the one in fifteen I found a couple of copies of that We've got the 70th anniversary for 570. Found a couple of copies of that. And I uh, also found the 1 in 25, man. That was a nice little pickup for me on these. Nice. Uh, you know, there's some rumblings uh, that uh, we, we got. Uh, it was an... Uh, the, it was announced by Disney they're going to be doing a streaming uh, show, uh, The World of Wakanda. And uh, people are thinking that that may be a great uh, springboard to uh, bring back uh, Killmonger. And uh, he could possibly be a mentor to Shuri. So, you know, just based on that conversation, man, it got me to thinking, let me go back and see if I can uh, find some more of those uh, covers. Um, I had shown in a older video uh, the second printing uh, of Killmonger number one. This is just this is the first this is the first print. Uh, this is Killmonger number one, and uh, also grabbed the movie variant for Killmonger number one. Check that out. And I found not to one, two. I found three copies of that. Nice. Speaking of the uh, speaking on the world of Wakanda, I also found the uh, what is this the sketch uh, sketch variant not sketch variant uh, blank cover variant. I found the JTC. Uh, this is the first issue. This is Black Panther World of Wakanda number one. I found two of the JCT variant, JTC variant. I showed this one before, uh, back in the day when I was buying anything with Shuri. Uh, this is uh, the not Nacha Busto one in ten or one in twenty five variant. I thought it was the one in ten, but some uh, people on eBay had this listed, have this listed as the one in twenty five. And then I also found the one in twenty five Black Panther World of Wakanda. And this is the uh, Brian. I'm gonna jack up his last name, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, Still freeze. Uh, one in twenty-five incentive variant. This is a beautiful cover, and I found two of these bad boys. 
And since I was looking in Black Panther, I saw this. I said, man, let me get this. This is Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda, number one. This is a variant cover. Um, I really like this cover. Uh, they had quite a few uh, at my LCS. I think I'm going to pick up a couple more of these covers. I like them. By the way, that cover is by Lionel Francis Yu. He does some great covers, man. And also when I was dig, this is why I was digging in the uh, Black Panther uh, long box. I was looking for this. This is Black Panther number three. This is the, this came out in 1999. This is the first appearance of Achibe Texera, Tex Texera. Uh, this is Wakanda's version of the Joker. Uh, apparently this guy goes insane and uh, yeah, he's he's there. Ver he's Africa's version of the Joker. But uh, I found two copies of this, and uh, you know there's some uh, speculation that he may show up. Check this out, man. I couldn't find any information on this. Um, I, I don't know. I couldn't find anything on it. Uh, I, I didn't find anybody. I couldn't. I didn't see anybody selling these on eBay. Um, like I said, uh, I don't know, but I know this is a dope ass cover. Uh, this is Marvel Knights number four. This thing is beautiful. Uh, the cover speak for itself. It speaks for itself. And the last thing that I'm going to show uh, before we call it, I stopped in Walmart uh, a couple of weeks ago and I uh, decided to stop and see uh, if they had anything. And uh, this is what I found. Um, I found another one of these uh, Thor, number one. Uh, and I was shocked to see these. They were just, they were there. They, were, they must have been waiting on me. Uh, I just never thought I would find these. I figured I'd miss the boat. And I found there were three of these bad boys sitting there. Check this out. This is Strange Academy number one, the Walmart variant. That is off the chain. And like I said, there were three of these sitting there. And I think what I'm going to do in my next video is uh, we're going to do like a little unboxing. It's not an unboxing, but I'm going to take the plastic off and I'm going to see what else I got in those. So we're going to open those up and take a look. All right. Well, with that being said, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know the routine. Like, subscribe. Um, this is Triple Six. This your boy. Until next time, I'm out.